Well, if Adidas blowing things up with Ye, I figure I need to distance myself from that company, you know, with all of my viewership. I don't know to see if it, I'm endorsing any of their philosophies. So I needed to find a new running shoe to shoot my esteemed jog vlogs. And with that, I went to New Balance and their Loretto. This is their flagship running shoe from 2021. Discontinued. And I think I'll tell you why. Got a, yeah, and hey, look at that. Ooh. Those are sharp. You need to zoom in. Those look good. Pretty good, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. It's in the new walking shoe for you. Ooh. You go walking in there. I think a stand up shoe. Now the Loretto has everything you're looking for in your flagship running shoe. You have your proprietary mesh, you have your high coefficient of restitution, special foam right here, supposedly bouncier, returning more energy than Adidas' boost. Yeah, and a carbon fiber plate. Oh yeah, and who can forget that super high visibility reflectiveness? Yeah, see? Uh, and, you, and you have your neon tips, those accents, you know, got to show everybody fancy, flashy stuff. At $250, I think this is the most expensive shoe available from New Balance that wasn't some kind of fancy collaboration. I got it at Nordstrom Rack for half off, yeah. But in truth, man, I took this around the grocery store and I thought, okay, it's gonna be a nice supple ride. When you're standing, you barely notice you're standing. That's great. It's a little heavier than most running shoes. The mesh has some flex about it. I don't know if you can kind of hear that, but you notice it when you're walking. It kind of rubs against your toes, which are crammed into the minuscule toe box. That's shocking. I wear a size 10 across the New Balance line. I would recommend a half size up if you are going to so much as try this. I was walking around the grocery store in rather typical everyday walking around town socks, but they're a little bit thick for a size 10 when you wear a size 10 in the Loretto. Maybe you have to stick to your running socks like these features that are all stretchy, tiny, thin, elastic. I did appreciate some of this energy return. It's not an overstacked heel launching you forward. You can walk in these. They don't look obnoxious, you know, except for, you know, kind of over here, you got the neon right there. But I think that this kind of works out uh, if it was bigger. I, unfortunately, I'm not even then sure if the toe box would be an issue. I don't have a particularly wide foot. I'm, I'm a little disappointed in kind of the way this works out. I prefer the Prime Knit in Adidas. They are the Prime Knit, right? That's not Nike's thing. But that sock-like feel, you don't even notice that you're wearing those old Ultra Boosts. Yeah, the Loretto, I'm not so sure I really want to try running in this. It, you're going to squeak across the floor because they couldn't make this in one solid piece like you find on the New Balance or that Continental Rubber. When you have the stuff kind of haphazardly placed, it makes for rubbing portions and not something you're really looking for in a shoe that you could wear athletically. Maybe just running on a track, as I think this was really intended, it might be the best case scenario for the Loretto. Discontinued for probably the reasons I just mentioned, but I would not be surprised if there weren't some uh, improvements in areas that made for a Loretto tube. So that's what I got to say about that. I may or may not go running in it as much as my my toes were, were hurting at, after an hour of walking the grocery store. I'm not so sure this is really up for the run, but am I saying Loretto right or wrong? And uh, how much should I hate Hess Kicks for recommending this shoe to me? He said it's the most comfortable shoe of 2021 and he was disappointed it wasn't around for 2022's comparison. And I sought it out. I'm like, that looks good. You said it's comfortable. Not really, come on. Thank you for watching my son's YouTube station. It's not for everyone, but he tries. Maybe if you bought some merch below, he'll eventually get good at the YouTubing.